Greetings everyone, this is Sun Rostran again, and today we're going to continue our epic quest, the Egypt campaign, by collecting some berries. How glorious is that? Let's do this. For generations, the rich hunting lands along the Nile have provided for your people. Now a series of droughts have withered the size of the herds and forced your kin to forage oh, for new bummer. food sources. Fortunately, the banks of the Nile teem with fruits and edible plants. Hunting bands have returned from the east with berries, dates, and leeks. Find these forage sites and collect food for your growing tribe. Once you have enough food, settle in this rich area by constructing a granary, storage pit, and dock. I don't know what they used to do in the ancient world, but in the modern world, dates and leeks don't go well together. Let's read some hints. You must forage for food to create villagers and chop wood to build houses to support the new villagers. You can put the new villagers to work chopping wood as well as constructing the other required buildings. Storage pit, granary and dock. Yeah. Forage sites are plentiful across the river which you can reach by crossing at the shallows. Villagers automatically deposit food from foraging at the town center or granary, whichever is closer. Building a granary near the forage site decreases the distance villagers must travel to deposit the food in your stockpile. Villagers automatically deposit wood at the town center or storage pit, whichever is closer. Building a storage pit near a stand of trees decreases the distance villagers must travel to deposit the wood in your stockpile. The storage pit is also a collection point for stone, gold and food from hunting which are not used in this scenario. History Prehistoric humans were opportunistic and found food based on their environment. Unlike modern people, on grasslands, hunting was the major source of food, while coastal environments favored the gathering of shellfish and the eggs of seabirds. Imagine the seabirds, a river valley or delta, such as that of the Nile, was a very fruitful location due to, to its abundance and variety of plant and animal life available throughout the year. Some of the nomads who arrived in such rich river lands found that they could subsist permanently in the area and settled the first villages. The first of these settlers on the Nile were likely drawn to the river by the increasing spread of the Sahara Desert. Although North Africa is mostly desert today, the Sahara was once covered in grasses and low shrubs. The transition to an arid climate was not gradual, but occurred in two specific periods episodes. The first between 6700 and 5500 years ago it was less intense, but later climate change lasting from 4000 to 3600 years ago was severe. Summer temperatures increased sharply, rainfall decreased and the grasslands withered. This event devastated many ancient cultures and their way of life. Tribes were forced to migrate to the Nile, where the river's annual flood deposited fertile silt, allowing plants to grow on the Nile's banks. These migrants contributed to the emerging small communities along the river. So, let's con contribute to a community. Oh, we need a house, so nice. we need wood, we need exploration. What else do we need? Collect some berries. Explore the west. I So it's been what? 1500 years since the last time? Yeah. Our progress hasn't been very substantial. We transitioned from hunting to collecting berries. So... But it's still something. We can collect berries. What have you achieved in your life? What say you, Elon Musk? 
Alamos. 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 All right. Alamos. 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 Oh, I can see a nice spot for a dog. We're just exploring the entire land here. Which is super fun. There's something special about exploration. Super fun. Alamos. Hello, eh? Alamos. 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 Yeah. Alamos. What do you think, Chopper Guy? Alamos. 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 By the way, who knows what Alamos means? Alamos. If you know, please comment Alamos. down in the section Alamos. below. Alamos. Let Alamos. us know. Alamos. 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 I don't know what this Alamos. means. Well, I know Alamos. while we were just Alamosing around. Alamos. I'll build a greenery right from across the river here. Rogan. Sounds like a Rogan experience to me. And it's quite powerful. Exactly. So, we need to create a dog. We're already constructing the granary. I think the dog would be next. And then the storage pit. That way we can explore some of the unexplored uh, places of the river if we're not able to explore them by land. Oh, we're able to explore this bird. Which is great. Alamos. Summers. Alamos. Alamos. Let's build it here, why not? Broken? Alamos. 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 This place has a lot of berries Alamos. all over the place, which is exciting. Alamos. Alamos. We're not gonna starve. Alamos. At least this Alamos. year. Alamos. 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 And the good part is Alamos. that there are no other tribes. Alamos. Alamos. The aggressive tendencies to steal and plunder from our hard-earned berries. Nice, you can st scroll in. It's pretty neat. I like that. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, that's super sweet. All right, once we explore this part, and yes, you can build boats, Alamos. which is great. Alamos. Let's, be, let's build the storage pit. This is our last last thing. Oh, we don't have Alamos. enough wood. Alamos. Oh, that's right. Thomas. Let's change profession. Thomas. And there's no fish to catch. It's okay. The good news is we have explored the entire river, except for we didn't explore this part. I think it's all isolated by the forest. I think we have enough to build a uh, storage pit. See how much does it cost? 120. No, we don't have enough. I know, you're out of work, buddy. Alamos. The storage pit is right here. Let's build it here, why not? Alamos. What a win! Come on, guys, let's help him out and finalize this victory in our campaign. the desert sands have encroached on the grasslands, the banks of the Nile still provide for your people. Your tribe no longer wanders after the herds, but has begun to build a home here on the river. To be continued.
Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. If you like this content, press the like button. If you dislike this content, press the dislike button. Cheers.